The historical Agrippina was the mother of the Emperor Nero and the fourth wife of the Emperor Claudius, whom she murdered as she proceeded to murder many other people in her ambition to make her son Nero the Emperor of Rome, in which she succeeded uh, and also failed because Nero went on to murder her. Handel fashioned one of the most deliciously dark and satirical black operatic comedies ever written. Um, it is an adult piece, it is an intelligent piece, it is a scathing piece, it is very funny and it tells a universal story which is people in high office very often behave very very badly indeed to get there. Because the story of Agrippina is such a universal one, um, I didn't want to leave it in ancient Rome, neither did I want to uh, put it into the 18th century. I wanted to make it far more immediate to the audience because the, the topics which it deals with are never going to leave us. You know, people have been behaving badly in positions of power since time immemorial and still are now. So I wanted the world to be one that the audience would recognise. Something about Joyce Di Donato, apart from being one of the greatest Handelian singers before the public today, if you've only seen her do a dramatic role, what you may not appreciate is she has an absolutely wicked sense of humour. This role in this production, I hope, is really going to let Joyce tap that side of her personality. If you've never seen a Handel opera, Agrippina is a great one to start with, simply because it is so accessible, it is so funny. The premise I suppose the production is quite simple. Just imagine a world in which the Roman Empire just simply didn't end. It is definitely one of Handel's most fast-moving and tuneful scores. It's just full of really, really great numbers. You say, but don't you see, but don't...